before taking the digital SAT, you're going to want to know how to use every single feature of the Desmos calculator, which is one of the most powerful tools on the new digital test. In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to use the Desmos calculator to your advantage. I'm going to give you my top three uses of the Desmos calculator on the test. As a bonus, at the end of this video, I'm going to go through some very difficult DSAT problems with Desmos to show you exactly how it functions on test day. I'm Nick the Tutor and I've guided over 50,000 students through standardized tests such as the SAT, ACT, and AP exams. And I'm here to explain to you exactly how to use the powerful Desmos calculator on the digital SAT. Now let's get into the video. All right, so the first tip I wanna go over with the Desmos calculator is how to use many of the functions on the calculator. So there's a variety of amazing functions that you can use if you know how to use the commands. So let's get right into some of the commands. So, so the first command I wanna go over is square root. So if you type SQRT into the Desmos calculator, it will pull up a square root. If you want a cube root, you can type CBRT and that will pull up a cubed root. Um, an exponent can also be used. So you just hit shift six. So you type X and then shift six. It will give you an exponent. You can type a two up there and that will show you a graph. Um, if you wanted to do a sine function, you type in sin and then a number. So say 30 and that can give you the value. We can do the same for cosine and tangent. You also can do E, which can be helpful for some more difficult problems. You can also do logs. You can type in a log, do a log problem. You can also type in ln for a natural log. You can type in pi and it will turn into pi. But you can also type in absolute value and uh, it will give you the absolute value of what you type in. So you can see here it's doing absolute value and giving me four for negative four. So these are some of the important commands you can type in and that's one of the important uses. Now, why is this helpful on the test? It's helpful because instead of having to push a bunch of buttons on your calculator, find the functions, hit the second key, you can simply type these things, especially if you have them memorized, you can do things very quickly. So I think Desmos is huge in saving you a lot of time on the digital SAT. The second thing I want to go through is graphing. So Desmos is amazing for graphing functions. This can be especially helpful for visualizing and understanding the behavior of functions in algebra and trigonometry questions. Desmos does this better than a calculator such as a TI-84 because it actually highlights the important points for you, such as the intercepts. It allows you to easily zoom in and out with the scroll of your mouse wheels. If I type something in like x squared plus 3x plus 7, I can easily drag my way to the correct points and it will show me these points very easily by just clicking on them or hovering over them. I can see the vertex, I can also see this intercept, type something like negative and then minus seven. Um, I can easily scroll out, move around with my mouse and I can easily see these intercept points which are incredible. For more difficult problems, this will help me do things very quickly. So you can see it immediately highlights and notates all of the important points. So I don't have to go looking for them and I can easily move around and scroll in and out to make sure I can get the answers that I need very quickly. Now, if I was to type a second equation in, uh, such so as like y equals negative five, it will show me not only the points on each graph, it'll show me the intercepts and it will show me these intersection points. So if I'm trying to solve a difficult problem or I need to do something quickly, this is extremely helpful. And this will actually help me move the line up and down. So you can see this sliding wheel I can you know, do transformations. Like this is very, very effective for the digital SAT. Another thing that Desmos can do is things like mean, right? So if I type in mean and I type in like three, five, seven, nine, 12, and then I hit a parentheses, it will actually calculate the mean for me. So this can be hugely useful in terms of saving time and answering certain questions on the test. That's why I feel like the Desmos calculator is an advantage over using another calculator because it's basically easier to use and it's less prone to mistakes than using say a TI calculator or something like that. Another great thing you can do with the Desmos calculator is inequality. So if I typed in two inequalities, like say y is greater than negative x plus three, and then I typed in a second equation, y is less than 2x plus five. This will actually show me in great detail exactly what I have here. So you can see how this can be incredibly useful on the test. And I think once again, obviously you can do these things on a TI calculator, but I think the speed that you can do them on Desmos is hugely, hugely helpful. Now, as I promised you guys, as a bonus at the end of this video, I'm gonna go through some very difficult problems on the Desmos calculator. So let's get into number 25. You can see here, they're asking us about an XY plane. The graph of this equation intersects the line Y equals C at exactly one point. Now doing this without a calculator is going to be very challenging, but let's try to type this into Desmos and see what we can get. So now I've typed this in, I can't view it. So what I'm gonna do is, 
I'm gonna scroll out until I can view the equation. So now I can see it here. And now if I scroll in, right, this will actually show me this vertex point here. And I can see this vertex point is at negative 79.75. So now going back to this problem, I'm going to want to pick one point is gonna be a line that goes across. This is how I could even check these answers. So you can see what I did here was I typed in choice C, right? Which is negative 319 over four. I picked one that I thought was pretty close to what I was looking for, which is about 80. Right, this is going to be too high, this is wrong. Just to check, and this is one of the huge uses for Desmos, two functions, right? They cross right here at negative 79.75. So this is how you can answer a very difficult question on the, the test. Now this, you may say, okay, Nick, this isn't really a difficult question, which you know I might agree with for some students, but for a lot of students, this could be hard, but you can answer it very easily with Desmos. Let's go into one more. All right, let's take a look at number 23. Now, once again, we can use Desmos, we can type this in. So it's x minus five squared plus y minus three squared equals 16. X minus five squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 16. Now if we move up here we can see the circle and we can see this point is 1 comma 3 and this point is 9 comma 3 so we would know that the distance of the diameter here is going to be 8 right so then we can go back to the problem we can say what is the diameter of the circle well we know from using desmos that it's eight now obviously you can say okay r squared is 16 so r is four and then d is eight right so obviously you can do this manually right but what desmos does for students that aren't so confident in certain problems it enables you to actually certify your answer as correct by using desmos there you have it guys a very quick guide to the desmos calculator how to graph certain problems how to use the functions how to use your keyboard and your mouse to your advantage on the digital sat now, once again best of luck on the test use desmos to your advantage and i'll see you guys in the next one